It's your boy King Say So, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today, we got craziest rapper fights. Before we get to the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out the description box to follow my other channels. My vlog channel, my second reaction channel, my podcast channel, Wisdom Media. Links are in the description. And if you want to follow me on, on any other social site, the links to them or the name to them will be in the description box. So, you got to check it out if you want to follow me. But with all that being said, though, let's jump right into the video. Oh, yeah, I gotta say, it, man. Make sure you hit that like button. We are on the road to AK. More people in that like button, the faster we can get there. So hit that like button right now. Let's get it. The rap game can get pretty wild. When you talk that talk, sometimes you have to back it up with actions. Here's a look at some of the craziest rapper fights that have gone down over the past few years. YG. Keenan Daquan Jackson, better known as YG, is a rapper from Compton, California. YG is no stranger to the street activity and has been a member of the West Side Treetop Power Rule Gang since he was 16. YG has had several controversies throughout his career that include getting shot while at a studio recording an album, as well as getting booked for an armed robbery in early 2020. But one of the craziest moments in YG's career was when he was arrested for fighting with police at a traffic stop outside One Oak in LA. According to cops, the rapper was on his way to appear at the club around 1.45 a.m. on June 23rd, 2019. The cops say he was weaving in and out of lanes, which is when they pulled him over. YG wasn't having that. He started cursing out the cops and refusing to cooperate. There was a crowd by the vehicle watching everything go down. The police said that YG was egging them on to scream at the police. The police began yelling back at the crowd, telling them to shut up and things got tense. The cops eventually got YG to exit his vehicle and made him take a breathalyzer test to be sure he wasn't drunk. The test revealed that the rapper was sober, but he was booked on reckless driving for the incident anyway. He was released the same day and had to face the charge later on. For someone like YG with a history of gang activity, reckless driving was- First of all, he shouldn't be driving anyway. The a lot, of, a lot of rappers, a lot of artists, they finna realize, like, look, you feed a lot of people, bruh. You feed a lot of people. And I don't even care if that's friends, family, but you have a squad. You got producers, beat makers. I mean, that's the same thing. That's the same kind of thing. But you got you feeding a lot of people, bruh. So you got to move more smart. You know you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be holding a tool. You should have a security for that. You shouldn't be driving. You should have a driver for that. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all, these drivers gotta move more smart. Like, y'all know it's a thing. It is a such thing as hip hop police. Their only job is to watch rappers. <laughs> like, let's be honest, man. Be, be smart. An easy charge to beat. But who knows what would have happened if tensions got out of control and he ended up swinging on the cop. The next rapper is also no stranger to beat. And ended up getting into a crazy brawl outside of LAX. Let's get right into it. 6 9 Daniel Hernandez, aka 6 9 is a rapper and social media troll from Brooklyn, New York. 6 9 made national headlines after testifying against the nine Trey Gangsta Bloods in the highly publicized case that the feds brought against him in 2019. But before he was locked up, 6 9 got ran up on us at LAX airport back in 2018. At the time, 6 9 was one of the most popular artists in the world and one of the most polarizing figures in hip hop. He had beef with countless artists, from Chief Keef to YG, and he had made enemies almost everywhere. One of the ops ended up. The only thing about that fight was like, if Takashi really wanted to fight, he could have really just ran up. Because it was plenty of. They, I guarantee he probably, gonna, he probably not gonna show the whole thing, but. It was a point in the fight where he was like, it was him and the guy. Instead of him just running up on him, they was like this. <laughs> like, come on, man. Catching them lacking at the airport and caused a huge brawl that spilled in the traffic lanes. The footage that was released by look, TMZ he, look, shows right members there, of the artist crew exchanging heated words with another dude outside the terminal. And after a few seconds of tension, a massive brawl breaks out. The fight spills into oncoming traffic where a group of six or seven people start to fight. Six nine stays back at first but eventually throws himself into the chaos and gets thrown on the ground. 
The fight continues with cars oh, honking at the crew to him. and swerving around them as they're driving by. But then they get back in the car and drive away as 6 9 walks back to catch his flight. This was a crazy moment in the 6 9 saga because it was the first time that the rapper was caught lacking after beginning his reign of terror on social media. He had threatened several serious dudes in a rap game, and up until that point, none of them had been successful at catching up to him. No the crazy way. thing is, it wasn't even a famous rapper who got him touched, but a random crew of dudes at the airport. It's possible that these guys were somehow affiliated with one of 6 9s ops and they were sent to send a message. But given how many enemies the rapper made, it's also possible that the crew that jumped him at LAX was just some random dudes that weren't with all the tough talk that the artist was talking online. But that wasn't the only time the rapper got caught lacking. In August 2020, the rapper posted a photo to social media showing his broken arm with the caption that he got caught lacking in the streets. Fans began to gossip about who it was that managed to get a drop on 6 9 while he was still rolling around with major security. But TMZ later revealed that the rapper had simply tripped over his French Montana Bulldog puppy while grabbing a midnight snack and injured his wrist while taking the fall. The social media post was nothing but a troll to keep fans guessing. 6 9 isn't the only rapper who has gotten into a fight with a random hater in a bad, public place. Though. This next rapper almost threw his whole career away after getting into a fight at Lenox Mall in Atlanta. Let's check it out. NBA Youngboy. Can Trail Deshaun Golden, better known as NBA Youngboy, is a rapper from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Youngboy has had several legal controversies throughout his career, from opening fire on a group of people to allegedly kidnapping and assaulting a victim in Tallahassee. Damn. NBA Youngboy has faced some serious charges <laughs> I didn't know and miraculously beat them every time. Youngboy comes from the rough streets of Baton Rouge and has proven himself time and time again to be one of the realest and possibly craziest of the new generation of rappers who came up in the 2010s. So it's not surprising that Youngboy was willing to throw down after a fan called him a bitch at an Atlanta mall back in 2018. Apparently, Youngboy was doing some casual shopping at Lennox Mall in Atlanta and a bystander started calling him a bitch. The guy calls him a bitch from outside the store and suddenly, Young boy lunges into action. His girlfriend tries to stop him, but he nearly throws her to the ground to get up in the guy's face. The guy keeps calling him a bitch, and Young boy responds several times by telling him to make a move. The heckler was from Chicago, and he keeps telling the artist to come to the shot. Young boy isn't taking these threats too kindly, and tells him that he'll slap the fuck out of him. Young boy swings out. The only thing I don't get about that is like, like, like look, you know he would like, all right. Yeah, it's fitting no man, but you know he would have squatted people. You know he a rapper. You know they're not gonna let him fight. You doing all this just to cause attention. <laughs> like, let's be honest, like you know for a fact they wasn't gonna let him fight. A real squad that's gonna that's gonna protect their breadwinner is not gonna let him fight. That you lucky enough that they didn't just jump you. But then I still would have went fell back on him. It still would have been like they beat him up to protect you. This person is hurt, and now you gotta pay for you gotta pay for him, and he gonna sue you because he ain't gonna sue them. That's exactly how that thing would have went. Like these rappers, all artists, I don't care what you're doing, beat, music, YouTube, whatever, drawing, be smart. If you got a squad, do not let them beat nobody up. Everything is everything is on camera. You're in the store, it's on camera. You walk down the street, people got doorbells, cameras, license plates, cameras, YouTubers everywhere. You gotta be smart, man. Them a few times and they trade insults back and forth, but nothing really happens. You know His girlfriend keeps trying to intervene and stand between Young Boy and the heckler, and eventually she convinces him to keep on shopping. Look, not for the fight on camera, you know, boy, you. So even though Youngboy didn't start an all-out brawl in public, it's clear that he was ready for action if the situation got more serious. Oh God. Youngboy isn't the he only really artist that threatened to slap the fuck out of someone in public. This next artist took it to the next level and smacked the security guard outside in the war show. Let's get into it. <laughs> Nipsey Hussle. R.I.P. Big Nip. Joseph Ashkadam, aka Nipsey Hussle, was a rapper from the Crenshaw neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. Nipsey was tragically murdered by a former associate outside of his own clothing store in the neighborhood he grew up in. 
The murder shocked the hip-hop community because Nipsey was a beloved figure in his community who had dedicated his life to activism. Oh, Nipsey God. was an admitted member of the Rolling 60s Crips, but had left the streets alone a long time before his murder and committed his life to helping better his community. Nipsey was known as a stand-up dude who upheld the street code and how he moved in business and in the music industry. Although the killer has yet to be tried, rumors have circulated that Nipsey was shot because he refused to associate with the known snitch. Before he was killed, Nipsey got in another crazy altercation with a security guard outside the BET Awards in LA. Nipsey was trying to enter that area so that he could park his car. One of the parking attendants wasn't having it and got- And I gotta say this about the, about the killer thing. How how it been all this time and he ain't been tried yet? It's on camera, bro. If y'all don't give him his charge and put that put that man up under the jail, which I man, that's that lets you know they really don't care and that that makes it more believable that it was a conspiracy. Police, law, government, somebody had to set that up. Cause how y'all got this man on camera, like. Bro, like, that was a cold killing. Like, if y'all seen it, bro, hidden, walked, was about to walk off, came back, did it again, walked off, came back, did it again, kicked him and all type of stuff. And y'all ain't tried this man yet? Nah, ain't right. Into an argument with the artist and crew. One of the dudes in Nipsey's entourage was holding an orange traffic cone because it was standing in their way of finding parking. The security guard got a little crazy and slapped the parking lot cone out of the guy's hand. Clearly, Nipsey didn't appreciate the disrespect, and without even flinching, he slaps the security guard across the face. The guy tries to react and throw a jab, but is obviously stunned as another security guard restrains the rapper and talks him into getting back in the car. Now the slap of the year, though. That was a slap of the year right there, boy. R.I.P. Big Nip, man. The security guard ended up filing a police report against Nipsey, but nothing ever came from the charge. Tragically, he was murdered less than a year later and was never able to perform at the BET Awards again. Man. But Nipsey isn't the only rapper who doesn't tolerate disrespect. This next artist knocked a hater out of his own pants outside of the Louis V store in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Baby. <laughs> Jonathan Lindell Kirk, better known as The Baby, is a popular rapper from Charlotte, North Carolina. The Baby is one of the biggest rap stars to emerge in the late 2010s and is known for handling his business. Aside from shooting a group of armed robbers inside his own home and killing someone who tried to run up on him in the Walmart, The Baby also beat the shit out of another aspiring rapper at the mall in Charlotte. The other artist, who went by the name Cam Cohart, was harassing the baby while he was shopping at the Louis Vuitton store. I didn't Cam know was, was telling a rapper. the rapper and calling him a bitch all while on social media. He even went as far as to tag the artist and claim he wasn't gonna do anything. As soon as the baby finishes his purchase, he confronts the hater and takes to his own social media to record the incident. <laughs> the baby taunts Cam Cohart for a while. Back in the fight too. It was gold. The fight itself isn't shown on camera. But the baby yes, does was. show the aftermath. Cam Cohart on the ground with a bloody nose and pants around his ankles. Cam Cohart later took the to social media to claim that the baby was still a bitch and that he wasn't <laughs> phased by the fight. But the footage tells another story and it's just yet another example of why you don't mess with the baby. <laughs> that nigga the baby in here talking some shit. That was a funny fight. He was like, smacking like, me, boy. What you don't do? What you taking your shit off for? Cody. Get away. 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 Get Back then, man, I said, man, I wish I'd been doing this a long time ago. But it was hella funny, man. He was the baby was like, he was like, they 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 showed uh, the the store footage got released. He was just back, like the step back. Back. <laughs> it was funny, man. Man, if y'all go see it, man, send it to me, man. I might I might still react to it, man. Hey, I love y'all, man. Catch y'all next video.